Next up, track number seven. Uh, this is Sunday Prayer. This one was fun. Um, it's the only feature. I got homeboy Sandman just killing the verse, just dropping Jim. That's one of my favorites for sure. I love what he had to say about it. When we did the Sunday Prayer joint, I rocked with the joint because it got beautiful energy coming off it. For me, it was a felt like gratitude, you know, and, and just and just appreciating the extraordinary magic every day, you know. So I wrote it over a couple of days. You know, and was just kind of sitting with it. It didn't feel like a track to really attack with a bunch of aggressive raps. You know what I mean? It felt like something, something smooth and, 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 and light and airy. You know what I mean? But, you know, so I spent time and I just let the rhymes come to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the jam. Yeah. Uh, it has cuts at the end. It's just that scratching, just that boom bap nature. I was like, oh man, that'd be dope if I can get a feature. And I just got off tour with him and Decca. The great Decca. Um, and so I wrote that originally in November 14th of 2021. The video just all ahead, you know. I was just like, uh, just like freaking, just feeling that like deep hip hop energy, that raw, to make something out of nothing energy, and just feeling that and put it in the tune. And then uh, Khalil Brown and Maestro Charlie Parker Mertens destroyed that one. And then Khalil, man, his his feel on that is cold. So um, just the process was really dope. That was recorded at Colorado Sound as well. Uh, anyhow, the groove, uh, let's talk about the chorus song. Time for another. Um, the groove is basically... Uh, Jazzy for sure. myself that you know um, your path is lit so wave them <laughs> 